Hey guys, David here and welcome to Digital Outlook. Guys, we have some amazing stuff to go over today. Formal Ripple executive predicts XRP will surpass Bitcoin. So guys, let's get to it. So guys, if you've been following this XRP ecosystem for any time at all, one thing that you know that will ruffle the feathers of all these Bitcoin maxis is to suggest that XRP could dethrone Bitcoin. Well, guys, that is exactly what is being debated today. Now, just check this article out right over here. Formal Ripple executive predicts XRP will surpass Bitcoin for these reasons. Just listen to these reasons down here. Now, during a recent episode of the Mr. M podcast on YouTube, former Ripple executive and well-known XRP supporter Matt Hamilton claimed the digital asset is on its way to surpassing Bitcoin and becoming the biggest cryptocurrency in the market. Now, guys, if you look back into 2018, back at that time, at one point, XRP was the number one digital asset in this space, and its market cap did surpass that of Bitcoin, and boy, did it ever dwarf Ethereum's. It was something else. Now, during the podcast, Hamilton, joined by Bitcoin enthusiast Da Vinci Jeremy, discussed the future of the two cryptocurrencies, with Hamilton argued that XRP holds many advantages over Bitcoin. He believes the digital assets, numerous advantages, position it for long-term success. Well, guys, primarily, of course, utility is going to be the biggest thing right there. Yeah, Bitcoin has first mover advantage. Of course, it is a store of value. Some say, hey, digital gold. But guys, it is as slow as molasses and the technology is ancient and in comparison to what XRP can accomplish in this space and the speed at which it can do it. Truly something else. Now, Hamilton claimed, unlike Bitcoin, XRP is more suitable for handling day-to-day -day transactions. XRP transactions take only a few seconds, as we all know, and the network can support a high throughput without slowing down or failing. This is crucial for scalability, as network outages have hindered the growth of other prominent cryptocurrencies, of course, like Solana. Now, Jeremy responded by highlighting some of the key strengths of Bitcoin. He highlighted its decentralized nature, stating that the token is not controlled by any single entity. Well, guys, I would argue that that's not so. Why? Because look at Bitcoin came out in 09, and what was its main thing and theme in the white paper? Well, it was going to turn over this traditional banking system. Well, guys, now that Bitcoin is literally being pummeled into by all of these exchange-traded funds, well, who controls Bitcoin now? Well, guys, the very bankers that Bitcoin was against right from day one, they've literally crawled under the covers and got right in there with the bankers that they said they were going to depose. So I do believe believe there are some big time entities out there that do control the movement of Bitcoin. Now, he also highlighted its resistance to censorship. These features enhance security and trust as no central authority can influence or alter the transactions or the currency. Although some doubt XRP's decentralization, Ripple's chief technology officer, David Swartz, has consistently debunked these claims, reaffirming the digital assets' decentralized nature. Now, Hamilton noted that while Bitcoin is highly valued and widely, widely recognized as digital gold, which it is, many people buy and hold it as an investment, hoping its value will increase over time rather than using it for regular transactions. XRP offers more than speculation as it has the infrastructure to serve as a currency. And guys, what kind of currency? Well, a bridge currency between central bank digital currencies. And that right there, that application alone is massive. Now, Hamilton noted, 
Oh, sorry. He also pointed out to Bitcoin's rising transaction fees as bottlenecked for adoption by regular people as a currency. In addition to gradually reducing mining rewards, Hamilton believes Bitcoin will alienate smaller users. Jeremy defending Bitcoin noted that Bitcoin's fixed supply and predetermined issuance schedule create a more stable monetary framework that is not subject to inflationary pressures caused by arbitrary money printing. He added that XRP's ties with banks can lead to increased regulation, control, and potential censorship, contradicting the fundamental ideals of decentralization that many cryptocurrency advocates hold dear. Well, Guy, we have heard that fun from practically day one, OXRP, the banker's coin. Well, like I just pointed out there, Bitcoin is as a banker's coin as ever when you got JP Morgan, you got Black rock and all these other ones that hold these major major positions in these exchange traded funds controlled right by the banks these investment banks now Hamilton retorted that XRP can be used without needing banks and that the digital asset is designed to allow fast, cost-effective, and decentralized money transfers across borders. The consensus among prominent market participants is that XRP will be a major player in the coming years as it offers a more robust ecosystem. Now, BitBoy, a popular crypto influencer, recently predicted that XRP will surpass Ethereum. And guys, it has done that before. When XRP moved, it literally fired past any ROI that Ethereum or Bitcoin had to offer. That is a fact, Jack, in the prior bull run, especially in 2017 to 18, it was massive, the move that it made. Now, to become the second largest cryptocurrency, and based on Hamilton's analysis, it could also surpass Bitcoin. Well, guys, something else is going on in this. But I think this is really something amazing. I mean, it's obviously a debate that these guys are having. And it's not to say that, hey, Bitcoin has no value. I think Bitcoin has tremendous value. But the point is this, you get these people that are just so, you know, tunnel vision that they have no, you know, room like Max Kaisers and Michael Saylors and the like, that they just will not see how utility functionally down the road is going to revolutionize the way the world works. And that XRP is the spearhead of a lot of it. Now, guys, look at this right here. Ripple unveils guide as it ventures into, get this, get this, $20 trillion custody market. This is major. Now listen to this right here. In a bold move, Ripple has unveiled a comprehensive guide aimed at navigating the burgeoning $20 trillion custody market. This strategic initiative marks a significant milestone for Ripple as it seeks to expand its influence and capabilities in the rapidly evolving financial landscape. And guys, $20 trillion, this is not, we're not talking retail. Right now, the entirety of this digital asset space is what, $2.24 trillion? You're talking a 10x, and guys, they're not talking that far down the road. They're really talking, what, 2030? By that point, it's going to be up to $20 trillion. This is big time institutional adoption and players. Now, Ripple's new digital asset custody quick guide for banks provides a blueprint for evaluating and deploying, get that, institutional grade custody infrastructure to foster trust, promote expansion, and open up new revenue streams. Guys, this is for big time institutions. And if this is what they're preparing for, then don't you think that this digital asset space is about to just get right ready to explode guys they know it and we know it we are looking for something big to come about now listen to this right here Custody is a new but rapidly increasing area within the digital asset market. Custodians play an important role in the cryptocurrency industry, helping clients to secure their private keys, which are the alphanumeric codes required to unlock access to digital assets and allow transactions. For Ripple, custody remains one of the most uh, it remains one of its fastest growing areas, with Ripple Custody posting customer growth of more than 
250% year over year on this year and operations in over 20 countries. Guys, institutions are getting in big and they are utilizing these custody services to ensure that their private keys are never compromise or hack now ripple expand it its custody business significantly in october providing new services to assist banks and financial technology firms in storing digital assets on behalf of clients early in october ripple announced new capabilities to help its banking and fintech clients manage and store digital tokens as a part of a larger push into custody a new business for ripple under its Ripple Custody subsidiary, which was established last year. Guys, a lot of people say, oh, banks are getting involved. They're not, are you kidding me? Right now, you are seeing banks around the wide world pummel into this digital aspect, asset space like no tomorrow. And why? Because guys, banks are out there providing the infrastructure for all of these institutions that have hundreds of billions, if not trillions of dollars to invest and guys they want to take a big bite out of this growing and burgeoning custody market and 20 trillion dollars is what they're expecting it to be guys that says something that is another tell of what institutions and the powers that be really believe is coming in the future yet we're gonna get all fudded out over a few hundred a few thousand dollars when these guys are putting into billions I'm telling you guys right there. Now, listen to this over here. Now, I only want to point this out for a very quick reason. Ripple doubles down against SEC, and here's what's going on. Well, guys, Brad Garlinghouse, and this is what I wanted to point out, all I want to really point out about this, because we've heard a lot about, hey, where we're at with the SEC lawsuit, who's appealed, the four C's that are filed, the extension into January 2025. But this is something that just came out. Brad Garlinghouse and Chris Larson are intensifying their defense against the SEC's allegation. They've enlisted the expertise of Clearly Got Lead partner Matthew Solomon and guys, attorney John Deaton, who is well known for representing XRP holders. Both are listed as non-admitted attorneys, indicating their involvement will be limited but tactically significant. Now, a recent court filing revealed that the law firm Paul Weiss and Rifkind, Wharton and Garrison no longer represents Chris Larson. Now, coincidentally, the appeals court sent a notice to Larson for failing to submit a notice of appearance. So my guess is he canned these guys right here. That's what I'm thinking. Now, Larson will now have the same legal team that successfully secured the dismissal of all charges against Garlinghouse in the initial case. This consolidation suggests a unified front in Ripple's legal strategy. And so, guys, I just wanted to point out that John Deaton is now right there on the Ripple legal team defending Garlinghouse and Chris Larson against these ridiculous SEC allegations. And what a big deal that is. Guys, we are really coming close to this new cycle. And if you're out there in Massachusetts, get out and support John Deaton right there. That's what I would say. Now, guys, listen to this here. XRP's chart breakout signals bullish surge will be one, will one dollar be next? Because guys, they are looking at some technical indicators and there's some big ones in this. Analysts predict XRP could surge to $1 in the near future as it breaks out of its technical pattern with rising activity fueling that optimism. Now, over the past few weeks, XRP has been navigating a period of consolidation, which we all know, with its price forming a base around that 51 cent range there. Investors and analysts are closely watching this digital asset as a key technical pattern has emerged on the weekly chart. The past this pattern often precedes significant price movements, hinting that the token might be gearing up for a breakout. The excitement doesn't stop there. Activity on the XRP ledger has been climbing and get this, reaching a six-month high with over 12 
1,000 active addresses. This uptick in network engagement suggests a surge in investor interest, fueling speculation that XRP could soar to $1 if certain conditions are met. So what are these conditions? Well, XRP's recent breakout from the symmetrical triangle has caught the crypto community's attention. This pattern, characterized by converging trend lines of lower highs and higher lows, often signals a significant price move is imminent. Analysts are optimistic that this breakout could begin a new rally for the token. Now, guys, look at it where we have been right back here in 2017, up, up, and then all of these Elliott waves that have been going through. And guys, if you were to draw a wedge from here and here up, we have been in this major, major compressed triangle, and we are right at the fulcrum of it. And a lot of these technical analysts have come out and said, guys, it could happen at any moment. Bang! And we could see this thing literally fire off, breaking this resistance and going and literally heading into the stratosphere. Now, to confirm this bullish momentum, experts emphasize that XRP's relative strength index must stabilize around the 50 level. Achieving this could increase the cryptocurrency to 55.6 cents, a critical resistance point. Moreover, analysts point out that XRP's final boss resistance sits around that 66.49 cent, a major barrier it has struggled to break. Clearing this level could open the doors for a longer lasting uptrend, potentially propelling the token to the much anticipated dollar mark. Now, guys, we could come back down here and tag some of these numbers in here as support, like Dark Defender was saying there before, yes, actually yesterday. And then this whole thing could bounce and we could be fired off. And guys, I'll tell you what, when I look at the fundamentals and we're seeing all of this going on and Ripple and institutions just gobbling it up, for me, it is a no-brainer. And that's where Judy and I have really just kind of peeled back the onion. And for ourselves, we when I look at this kind of stuff and having lived through a prior bull run, guys, the one we lived through was right here in 2020 and 2021 and we watched it go bang 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 but do you not think that the fud that was going on then is the same as what is going on now the same that was going on in 2017 it was it was absolutely felt exactly the same and then all of a sudden boom boom here again all of a sudden boom boom guys we could be ready for an all of a sudden. And I'll tell you what, I cannot wait to see it happen. So guys, I have interacted with so many folks that have told me, David, I thought I had a plan until we talked. And guys, what our coaching program offers, that is where you and I can meet personally, one-on-one -on -one for one hour over Zoom. And during that time, I share with you our personal journey in that last bull run and what enabled Judy and I to experience some amazing financial success. I share with you the mistakes we made so that you don't have to fall into the same pitfalls we did. We take a look at your portfolio and make sure that it's balanced towards your goals and we work together to develop your exit strategy. We can even get your assets off an exchange and onto a hardware wallet alone along with delivering to you some amazing techniques that are really going to help you in this space. Now, the cost of that is $250, and if that's something that interests you, you write me right there at coaching at the digitaloutlook.com, and we'll get y'all booked in. So guys, I truly hope that you enjoyed today's video, and as always, it's not financial advice, it's just my two cents. Hit the like and subscribe and drop your comments right down there in the comment section and I'll catch you in the next one.